Hey everyone, it's another beautiful day in the desert. Uh, I'm not sure what the temperature is right now, but uh, it is absolutely gorgeous today. And uh, anyway, I'm back at the truck and I'm going to try and uh, diagnose the, uh, well, I'm going to try and fix the uh, low oil pressure problem. So, uh, anyway, I got a, uh, here, might as well check this out first. I got an oil pressure uh, test kit from Harbor Freight. And it's actually really nice. Uh, it was only like 21 bucks or something, 21 or 22 dollars. But uh, this gauge is absolutely huge. I had no idea. And they give you plenty of uh, hose here, so you could stretch it all the way from the uh, from the engine inside the truck if you wanted to test it out. But uh, the really cool thing is they got all these fittings, and uh, supposedly this is everything you need to. Uh, to test the oil pressure uh, I, saw, I saw some really good reviews on it today so uh, yeah I'm gonna test it with a mechanical gauge and and see where we're at supposedly uh, what's happening is hopefully is there's a lot of dirt in that sensor and you can see I got a vice grip and yeah everything's always got to be a little more complicated for me and old trucks like this you know I'm sure this isn't the first engine there's things that are going to be different but uh, as you can see, I have uh, two oil pressure sensors. One is the aftermarket, which I believe is the one, you know, towards the bottom of the screen there. And the one to the right, I have the vice grips on. That's the, uh, that's the one that comes off the wiring harness. And I've already checked. I unplugged it. Let's see if I can find the plug. I, yeah, here it is. Anyway, I've unplugged it, and yeah, it's not in great shape. The wires are stripped pretty good there and stuff. But uh, the important thing is I unplugged it and started the truck up, and it started and, and ran fine, so that's good. Uh, supposedly, with a lot of these older trucks, and like, you know, in this year, in the 80s, uh, there was a... There was like an interlock tied into the oil pressure where if, uh, you know, the truck didn't see oil pressure, it would shut, you know, it would shut the ignition off so it wouldn't run. So it, it looks like that's not the case for me since I've already started it up with it off. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to throw that in there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try and get this uh, sensor off finally. I've been working at it for a long time. But, uh, yeah, I finally figured out that I could get a, a pair of vice grips there. I finally broke it loose, so it shouldn't give me too much of a hard time. I'm going to get all that stuff out, out of there and uh, just plug the, the, uh, the gauge and the hose right into the block. And uh, we'll see what kind of oil pressure we get. And hopefully we'll see, you know, if there's any gunk or sludge in those sensors that's uh, causing them to give a, a false reading. So uh, be right back. Alrighty, I got the uh, the stock sensor, the oil pressure sensor, sender, whatever you want to call it. I got that out. And uh, the oil that was around it uh, was really clean. It's like brand new. You can even see on the rag. So uh, I was hoping to find a bunch of sludge in here, but it doesn't seem to be the case. So that... Uh, I'm going to get that T and that other, uh, I think it's an auto meter gauge, get that uh, sender for that off and, and take a look at it. Alright, before uh, I spin this sensor out, I'm actually, there's a T behind it as well. I'm actually going to spin that out so they'll come out together. Um, here's the wire that goes to that sender and uh, I'm going to just cut it right here and make things easy for myself and... Uh, I'll wire nut that back together. That's my preferred method of uh, electrical connections. I don't trust butt splices, so 
and that should be plenty easy for me to get at. And uh, I can grab one of my, I always have these in the truck too. These little bread ties are awesome for when you need to tie wires and stuff out of the way. So uh, yeah, that's cut. I'm just going to go down there and uh, spin that off and uh, have a look at it. So be right back. Yeah, it moves pretty easy because it's been moved quite a few times before I could get that oil sender off. Alrighty, I got this uh, this oil sender off now too, and the T and everything. So uh, that's definitely not one eighth. That looks like quarter, maybe even three eighths. I'm uh, not always the best at at figuring sizes out, pipe sizes. Is that smaller than that one? Kind of looks like that one. That should be it. And that should fit into there. Excellent. And uh, we can screw all this stuff together and test it out. I'm not sure if I should use a sealant or what. I'm not going to read the directions. Nobody ever reads the directions, right? There's Teflon tape, which you're not supposed to use, but who knows how long that's been in there. It did work. I don't think this thing leaked. And, uh, yeah, that doesn't look too sludgy. doesn't look too promising, so. So that's just that. That's just a, a bushing. So I could see how, you know, crud could get in there and mess with it but it really doesn't look like it alrighty no big deal we're gonna we're gonna hook this gauge up and uh, run it and see what kind of oil pressure we get alrighty I got the uh, the oil gauge all hooked up and uh, they do give you this nice long hose it actually will fit into the cab but uh, I think it's pretty cool I can just put it right on the windshield and uh, hopefully it'll stay there for me. But uh, I can quickly grab it after I start the truck up. So, uh, yeah, I got a little bit of uh, Permatex thread sealant on there. And uh, hopefully it doesn't leak. And uh, it really shouldn't. So, yeah, let's check this out. It's the first time I've ever used a oil pressure test gauge. That is so cool. I like it already. Oh, look at that. Very interesting. Almost 60 pounds of pressure. Whereas normally, this gauge right here, I hope the camera's on it. This gauge right here will uh, hang at that uh, tick between 25 and 50, which should be at close to 40 pounds. But, uh, yeah, I want to see, yeah, the gauge on the dash is maxed out. It's unplugged anyway. Yeah, that's really good. Looks like we just have a bad gauge, hopefully. But uh, the real test is uh, just letting her run for like 10, 15 minutes. We'll take a look at the temperature and we'll see if the oil pressure comes down. So be right back. Alrighty, it's only been about four or five minutes, and uh, you can see the the oil pressure's dropped maybe about five five pounds.
Alrighty, I'm getting really lucky today. The uh, the high idle should have definitely kicked in by now. The, uh, the engine's definitely up to temperature. And normally that high idle would have uh, kicked in in a, you know, a long time before now. And uh, yeah, there we are at about 700 RPMs. I'm going to actually just touch the gas and see what happens. See if she'll actually come back down. Yeah, a little higher, maybe like eight or nine hundred now, but definitely not running as uh, high of an idle as it used to when it hits this temperature. It might just be getting ready to uh, kick. There it goes. Yep. Yeah, I know this truck well. I know exactly when that high idle is going to kick in. So there it is. There's the high idle. There's the temperature. Let's go take a look at the oil pressure. So normally this is where it would drop down to like maybe 10 pounds. And uh, there we are. We're still at like 45 pounds. We did lose quite a bit, like maybe 15 pounds, but plenty of oil pressure. And there's a little bit of ticking going on. I might redo the valves, tighten them up a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. The uh, that motor will will run for a long time with that kind of oil pressure, so she should definitely be all right. So uh, I'm gonna clean up and call it a day, probably. Uh, all the smoke you see coming off the motor is just oil that came out from when I adjusted the valves. It's not not a head gasket leak or anything. So, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. All right, so one last quick update. It looks like the oil pressure uh, is dropping down to, like, 38 at the lowest, and it'll bump back up to 40. But, uh, yeah, she's still running a little hot. She can't cool herself down, so, you know, the oil pressure is going to go down. She's in, like, extra high idle right now. And uh, almost at like 210 there. So, uh, yeah, if I rev it, if I rev her a couple times, you know, the temperature will bounce back down. But she's definitely not able to get rid of as much heat as she needs to. So, uh, yeah, I got the electric fan coming and stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today. And, uh, yeah, it looks like my oil pressure's fine. I'm pretty happy with that. It's not the greatest, but... Uh, it's definitely well within range. So, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.